Hey, Lynn, Dakota from Jones, BO GMC. Sorry you couldn't make it out tonight, but I want to take a couple minutes here to give you a walk around of the Sierra Denali that I do have here. Uh, 3,500 single rear wheel with the gooseneck and fifth wheel already put in it. It's a lot of vehicle. You're going to see so many more upgrades that they put on these uh, doing this whole model year. Uh, things include like the side step, make it a little easier to get into the back of your bed. Now, the big thing a lot of people see is the multi-pro tailgate. You've probably seen commercials about it now, but it works a couple different ways. The top half folds right down to a workbench. It also pulls up to an extended stop load. So if you need um, actually plywood, things like that, a little easier. It does fold down just to your typical tailgate. And there you can see the, uh, the stamped out bed already for a gooseneck or a fifth wheel. This also pulls back up for if you have a two by fours. And I know last time you can have this fold all the way down to a step, make it easier to access your bed. There's actually an accessory for those uh, four squares right there. You can put kicker speakers in these. 12 standard tie downs in the bed. They did incorporate a new powerhouse outlet. So if you do any kind of outside work, you can plug in. They also incorporated a handle to help you get up in there a little easier. And they also put a four and seven pin connector right in the bed too, instead of having it in the back. Makes it a little easier for when you hook up your uh, gooseneck or your fifth wheel. Best way in this configuration to open the tailgate I found would just be to close the part and do it from the side. That way you don't get it on strain your back, but just simply lift your hand, folds right up. It's a lot lighter. Makes it a little bit easier for you. They changed for the deaf fluid. It's not up front anymore, it's actually right beside the diesel. Makes it easier, easier to pour in. Keyless entry now. Locks and unlocks the door. Because there is no actual key, it's push button start now. Of course it only has the Bose Premium Audio and the memory seats. Some stuff that you're used to and some stuff that you had, but uh, one new thing is they have power extending mirrors now. And still power folding. Gonna hop in and get it started. So on your left side here, you don't have a trailer brake controller anymore. Uh, that's actually where you turn it to put it into trailering mode. It's your four high, your four low, your auto, fog lights, um, cargo lights in the bed, your interior dome lights. All new display. Now, this is the only truck on the market with a heads-up display. So if you can see, in the front, I can actually go through and change the info, my miles per hour while driving. You can actually move it up and down for your height. So it's all new stuff. It's cool stuff to get used to as far as safety. Full digital display. Well, one thing you might not, well, you might like now is um, they actually put a def gauge right inside now. There's no more guessing if you're going to run out of def fluid. So that's some of the new technology in here too. Full cool touchscreen. It is easy. You can actually customize it, drag and drop. Built-in nav, but we do have a new thing called the trailering app. So you can actually go in here under trailers, add your own trailer profile. So you just name it something. It asks you how you're going to pull it. So let's say I do a gooseneck. What type it is. Say it's a travel trailer. I then can go into that trailer um, under the checklist. And then I, it'll actually walk me right through all the steps and how to hook it up. If it's something new and you've never done it before. But basically you just walk right through. So that's pretty amazing. Some of the other new stuff you might like and appreciate is all the new camera views. So right now we're on the bed view. So if you do have something hooked up right up there, um, you can just back right up to it. No getting out and guessing. You do have your 360 camera view. Front and rear. You have the bowl view, which you can see around you. You can even look down to the wheels if you're going to parallel park. Just to see how close you're going to get. Right down on the hitch, 
There's also some of these that are grayed out. The one you can actually see set up a camera for the inside of your trailer. Uh, this was an in, actually three pictures in one. Uh, you can actually have this camera set up on the outside. You might have seen the x-ray cameras too. But from this configuration, <clears throat> if you're going to hook up, it's probably going to be the easiest. Because some of the stuff down here, you can actually lower the tailgate. So if I just press that button, I just lower my tailgate, I throw it in reverse, I can back right up and hook up a trailer right there. So I'm telling you, they just make it too easy anymore. Some of the other buttons on here, you still have your exhaust brake. Lane departure lets you know if you're going out. Park sensors. This is how to activate the bed in the back. Hill descent control. But they moved the trailer brake controller into the center now, so it's no longer on the left side over here. Of course, full connectivity up front, different ports. They moved the wireless charging down to here now and not on your center console anymore. So it actually open this and flip your phone to the back. They added another sweet camera. So right now your rear view, if I flick that turns into a camera. So if you have people sitting in the back and you can't see, well now you, there you go. You can actually see right in there and you can actually move it too. There's a couple buttons on here. I can actually zoom in and out and move it up and down to take a look around too. So all new technology on these, it's quite impressive. Moving on to the back. The crew cabs are bigger now, but one nice thing about these is the rear seats are now heated. And there's also charging connectivity back here as well. And they put additional storage back here in the actual seat. So just wanna take a couple minutes here, uh, walk you through the GMC Sierra, all the new changes that have happened here. And I look forward to meeting you with you. You get some time to come out and take one out, take one for a drive. Talk to you then, ma'am. Thanks.